In this video, I'll be teaching the basic concepts on reaction rate. So let's begin by defining what is reaction rate. So it is the change in concentration of reactant or concentration of product with time. We can write it as an equation whereby rate equals to the change in concentration over time. And from here, you can see that rate is inversely proportional to time. So in other words, the longer the time taken for a reaction to be completed, the slower the rate of reaction. As for the units, since it's concentration over time, you can have units like molar per second or even write it in full as mole per dm cube per second. Or if the reaction time given in the question is in minutes, you can even write the units as mole per dm cube per minute. Next, let's look into a general equation whereby A is converted into B. So here, A is our reactant and B is our product. So by definition, rate can be defined as the change in concentration of A, which is our reactant, over the change in time. And if you realize, there is a negative sign in front, which indicates that the concentration of A decreases with time. A is a reactant, therefore, the concentration of it will decrease over time throughout the reaction. So we use a negative sign to represent that. Another way to write an expression for rate would be rate equivalent to the change in concentration of B over time. And this change is a positive change. Why so? Because product concentration increases throughout the reaction until the reaction is complete. So now let's move on to graphs on rate of reaction. The common graph that you would see under rate of reaction would be the concentration against time graph. As you can see over here, the red line moving up is actually for the product whereby the concentration increases over time and the blue line going down would be for the reactant. So here, how do we determine rate of reaction is actually through the slope of a straight line. We'll be seeing it shortly. The next thing you should know from graph of concentration against time is that if the graph is steeper, the rate of reaction is actually faster compared to a less steep graph. In order to determine reaction rate from a concentration against time graph, there is two rates that you should know, which is the average rate of reaction and instantaneous rate of reaction. Average rate of reaction is the rate of reaction over a period of time. So for the graph given here, let's say the average rate of reaction for the whole reaction can be calculated by drawing a large triangle that connects the start and the end of the reaction. So that would be the change in y over the change in x and average rate is calculated as a gradient of these two. For instantaneous rate of reaction is the rate of reaction at a specific time. And how do we calculate this? Let's say we are focusing on time T1. All you have to do is draw a tangent. At point T1 and again calculate the gradient for this tangent. So let's label this as y1 and the change in x to be x1. Therefore, the instantaneous rate at t1 would be y1 divided by x1. So remember, average rate is calculated for a period of time, whereas instantaneous rate is calculated at a specific time, and you have to draw a tangent for this. That's all for this video on the basic concepts of rate of reaction. 
Thank you.